Good morning, sir. If you could, please tell us your name. Spell your name. Richard. R-I-C-H-A-R-D. Okay, and you're the owner of this house that caught on fire? Yes, sir. Can you tell us what happened this morning, sir? My dog woke us up barking like crazy. That was Sam? Samson, yeah, our Mastiff. And uh, then my wife woke me up because she got up. And, you know, I took the day off because I had neck procedure yesterday. And lo and behold, she comes running back and says, Oh, the house is on fire. The house is on fire. So I got up and went to go into the garage to grab all my animals because there's a lot of animals in there and I couldn't even get in there. No, we're talking about reptiles, correct? My reptiles, yeah. I had rats in there, you know, some hybrid rats and I had uh, all my reptiles, lizards, snakes. Only one snake survived. One saw. snake survived. So far, I haven't been able to go back in the garage and see. So how many reptile or how many animals do you think you lost? Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, I'd say at least 45. Oh, sir, I'm so sorry. And your three dogs are okay? Yeah, luckily they're okay. They got Frank and Daisy and Sam out. Uh, the fire department said they, they found two of the dogs inside. Yeah, Frank, that's Frank the pug and Daisy the chihuahua. Okay, and your wife's okay? Yeah, she's, you know, she's a little shaken up. Are you, are you going to be able to stay here today or displaced? Uh, I don't, I'm not sure yet. I don't. We'll probably end up just cleaning everything up, or you know, we'll do what we can. Sir, I'm so sorry for your loss. You lost thousands of dollars. That's okay. We didn't lose life. Sir, thank you so much, and I hope things get better for you. Thank you. Good morning, sir. If you could please tell us your name, spell your last name, and your position. Todd Nelson, N-E-L-S-O-N, Battalion Chief with Heartland Fire and Rescue. Thank you, sir. Can you tell us what happened this morning? Uh, this morning we got dispatched to a garage fire in a residential structure uh, in the city of El Cajon. Uh, we responded with our standard first alarm, four engines, a truck, uh, two battalion chiefs. Uh, the first units on scene found a working garage fire and started to stretch hose lines to attack the fire. Uh, they arrived in about approximately six minutes from the initial calls. Uh, those units combined with uh, units from uh, Lakeside Fire Protection District, San Miguel Fire Protection District, as well as uh, City of El Cajon and Heartland Fire and Rescue, uh, were able to knock the fire down in about 20 minutes. Uh, during the fire attack and search, uh, two of the owner's dogs were discovered and, and gotten out of the house. Uh, just there are some other animals on the, the property uh, that we're working with the owners and the main society in El Cajon PD uh, to take care of those. So we understand a lot of the animals were lost in the fire. It sounds like there was some animals that uh, were, were housed in the, in the garage, and we're still trying to figure that out. We spoke with the owner, and he said that his whole mastiff basically saved their lives. It's, it's a very good reminder that uh, pets can sometimes know that something's going on in our house before us, but also a good reminder that as we enter the new year, uh, check your smoke detectors, make sure they're working. If you don't have a dog, maybe your smoke detector can alert you if there's a fire in your house. And any injuries to firefighters or civilians? Uh, no injuries, firefighters or civilians. Okay. Guesstimate on the damage? Uh, probably a couple hundred thousand dollars at this point. Okay. 
sir. Thank you so much for your time. No problem.